Hi, my name's Thomas and McKinsey. I'm here with Harper's Bazaar UK to share what you don't know about me. The three words my friends would use to describe me are indecisive, gullible, I can be a bit, yeah, gullible and nice, hopefully. <laughs> what makes me the happiest is walks in the New Zealand native bush at home in Wellington. Also, collaboration makes me really happy. I just finished a production. The relationship I had with the director and the entire crew and the cast was so joyful and loving and collaborative and that just made me so happy because it's what I love the most. <laughs> I think the job that changed my life is a film called Leave No Trace. It was directed by Deborah Granick and I play the character called Tom who's living with her dad in the forest and it just follows their journey. It's a very quiet film but really moving and very intimate. It kind of opened up my career internationally I suppose because before then I was just working in New Zealand so I was very lucky to have gotten that role and to be here where I am today. <laughs> my strangest audition experience is probably quite a boring one. I do a lot of self tape since I'm from New Zealand. So I think my strangest audition has just been auditioning in New York. Just like having the classic audition experience was a really strange feeling to me. I did not get the role. <laughs> the best career advice I've ever received is a piece of advice from my mum. It was more life advice, but now I take it as career advice, is to be like water in a stream, flowing freely and easily past obstacles or rocks, and just not being too taken aback or kind of stopped in your tracks and things, but being like, being able to move around them and continue on with your life. So yeah, being like water. <laughs> I really want to play an elf or a fairy or something kind of magical, mysterious like that. My superpower would be um, the ability to transform into absolutely anything. With that power, like you basically have all the powers. You could be a bird, you could be a fish, you could be a chameleon, I could be an elf. I could live out my, my dream of being a fairy. My entire life, all I've wanted is just to be this big. That's all I want. <laughs> I would feel starstruck by Audrey Hepburn. She would have been a dream person to have met. My guilty pleasure is, at the moment it's TikTok. For me, love means the ability to just kind of be still and quiet with somebody and not feeling like you have to fill the silence, but just being completely comfortable and completely yourself, enjoying their company so much. <laughs> Self-care to me means either going on a walk in in the in New Zealand bush or just kind of stillness and not not feeling the pressure of time. The one book I'd never get tired of reading is The Song of Achilles by Madeline E. Miller which is just the best book I've ever read in my life. The first book that ever made me like properly cry my eyes out. <laughs> my all-time favorite film is a Hayao Miyazaki film called My Neighbor Totoro. It's just a family film like that's probably like the first movie I ever remember watching with my family. It's just like very comforting to me and whenever I think about it it just kind of brings a smile to my face because it reminds me of home. Also my dog is called Totoro so like and I love my dog so that makes me happy. The song that always makes me dance is Heroes by David Bowie, for obvious reasons. It was the ending song for Jojo Rabbit, so I don't know, <laughs> I can't avoid it. It's probably, well, maybe the, the, that one that I did in Jojo Rabbit, but also like if I'm just at a party or something or at a concert, it's just like the stepping side to side, but with rhythm, like really lame, <laughs> really lame. <laughs> My party trick is, I don't know whether this is gross or not, but my party trick is I can do that, but with my toes. But I won't show you. <laughs> I've got two answers for the most luxurious thing I've ever bought myself. My first one is a perfume by Lancome. 
because whenever I put it on it just makes me feel very luxurious and sexy and kind of grown up because it's like my first like signature smell I think. The second thing is I bought my first car last year which was a big deal. <laughs> the best gift I've ever been given is the charm bracelet from um, a series I just finished called Life After Life. It was my character's charm bracelet and it has all of the charms on it represent different moments in her life and it's really special. So I was very, very excited when I received that. The advice I would give to my younger self is to just not care so much to, and to be gentler on myself because life is, is joyful and not everything is such a big deal. You'll survive. <laughs>